Welcome back. A restaurant in South Milledgeville has been open almost 50 years, and this place is all about tradition. Shrimp Boat prides itself on character, good food, and cleanliness. It's this week's Restaurant Report Card. We are in South Milledgeville off South Elbert Street at the Shrimp Boat, a place that I have passed many times when I was in school here, but I never had the privilege of going inside until today. This place, modest looking on the outside, but filled with character, good food, and a perfect health inspection score on the inside. I'm Michael Warwick, and this is Restaurant Report Card. My family has had it since 1969. For almost 50 years, Shrimp Boat has been here in South Milledgeville. Since its inception, it's been in the same family, in Benjamin Waller's family. Okay, what else can I get for you? I've seen some of our customers grow up as well as them seeing me grow up. It's never relied on grandeur to attract customers, but rather good food. The big box stores and the franchises, they don't have the same spirit as a locally owned business would. We'll get to that shrimp boat food, but first, let's take a look at your scores this week. Cat and D's on Pionona Avenue, 83. Cox Cafe on Lower Poplar Street, 95. Ninja Japanese Steakhouse on Mulberry Street Lane, 93. Zoe's Kitchen on Riverside Drive, 83. Yoder Sandwich Shop on Sunset Avenue in Perry, 90. American Philly and Wings on Commercial Heights in Ford Valley, 97. Barberitos on West Hancock Street in Milledgeville, 97. And Cookout on North Columbia Street, 87. Those are good scores this week. Surprisingly, Shrimp Boat isn't known for its shrimp. Despite the name Shrimp Boat, our biggest seller is fried chicken. We go through about a ton a week. But yes, of course, this Baldwin County staple has plenty of seafood. We have whole catfish, flounders, another fish that we sell. Another specialty that uh, we're well known for is a fried biscuit. And whether you're coming for the first time or the 50th time, it's Waller's job to make sure you leave satisfied. Anything else for you? Just try to be consistent. You, know, you, you want the customer to have the same experience every time they come in. And as long as you can keep your customers happy, then everything usually runs pretty well. Okay, folks, it is eating time. The place is called the Shrimp Boat, but it is ironically known for some really good fried chicken. That's what I've got in front of me, a fried chicken breast. Came out hot, came out crispy. No fork and knives required, maybe some napkins required. Let's take a bite. Mm-hmm. That has a great crunch to it. Mm. Woo! That's good eating. Mm-hmm. And you already know the reason we are stopping by is because Shrimp Boat is doing its job in the cleanliness department. The 50-year-old establishment has a perfect health inspection score. Quality employees is, is another thing. They don't just come here to get a paycheck. They come here to, they enjoy the community and the customers as much as we do. Shrimp Boat in South Milledgeville is making the grade this week. Until next time, this has been 41 NBC's Restaurant Report Card. Yes, for all your health inspection scores, just head to our website, 41NBC.com.